we're in East LA to meet with Kevin DeLeon. He's the first minority head of the state senate in modern California history. DeLeon is an upstart who's challenging one of the longest serving senators in America, Dianne Feinstein. California has something called a jungle primary where the top two finishers, regardless of party, are the ones who face off with each other. De Leon represents a new California strain of politics. He wants to abolish ICE. He wants a much more sort of progressive democratic platform. And he's running up against a woman who embodies institutional democratic politics. Thank you so much. Why did you get the endorsement of the California Democratic Party? I think a lot of folks, you know, were sold on the idea that this is a different time. We need a different future with a different vision and that the status quo, the establishment of authority is simply not working for us in California. We may be the fifth largest economy in the world, and that's a good thing. But also, too, there are millions of Californians who are not benefiting from being mm -hmm. the fifth largest economy mm -hmm. in the world. The country club rules of Washington, D.C. simply does not work for a state like California. We're a restless state. We're an innovative state. And we always challenge the status quo. I have a lot of respect, you know, for Senator Feinstein and for years of service. But in the issues with regards to climate change, immigration, California should be the leader for the entire nation in Washington, D.C. The reality is, is we're not. Do you think Dianne Feinstein represents something that's broken with the Democratic Party? We may be Democrats, but we're very different. We have very different histories, and we have very different values. And the lens, the perspective in which we view the world is dramatically different. When I heard that Dianne Feinstein said that perhaps we should be patient with the president, in hopes that he can be a good president in the future. This is after the Muslim ban. This is after pulling out of the Paris Accords. This is after he unleashed ICE to terrorize mothers and fathers and their children. And this is three weeks after the tragedy of Charlottesville, Virginia. So to make such a comment from the senior senator from California showed a gross disconnection between Washington politicians in California. And I know we need a new voice, a voice of change, a progressive voice in Washington, D.C. And California often is America before America is itself. That's why I believe in the California dream. And that's why I believe in California values. And that's why I believe we need someone in Washington fighting for California values.